here's a good one. What is technically your opinion on this whole, they're taking down all these statues? Oh boy. So... Without, like, you know, take, well, actually, never mind. Uh, what would you say is your opinion on that without making all the little stove plates, man? So, I, I said when the riots went off, I didn't, I didn't want to take sides because, yes, black people are being oppressed, and yes, there's police brutality, and yes, it's disproportionate to black people, okay? I've seen the statistics. It's real. And, right. So, it's the same topic I take on abortion. Me, a white person, a white male, why do I have any justification to ever even open my mouth? Literally, the only protected class that I'm part of is being Catholic. Other than that, I have uh, oh, no, sorry, Catholic sloth. Otherwise, I am just, just I'm close. I am closer to a wasp than any other group, really. So it's like I have no room to open my mouth and share what's going on. And it's like I don't. So I just don't even want to touch it with a ten foot pole. Because if I say something wrong, then both communities are mad at me. So I just stand in the middle, then they're both mad at me, and it's fine. Because like, oh, you're not standing up for you know white people, oh, you're not standing up for black people. It's just like, I'm just going to try and not be a racist and be as far away from it as possible. Because I'm not. And so it's like, I'm just going to take 10 steps back and let them, let the dust settle. What about you? And actually, since we're on to this, let's just make this a new section. I'll just include what I, the last part into this new section here. That'll be difficult. But let's actually let's since since you're a big YouTuber or you're working your way up there. Controversies. Are you are you ready if one happens? <laughs> I got a baseball bat over there if someone tries to break into my room. But I mean That's like I mean, because, like, the, you know, James Charles about killed himself because of all the hate he got and after, because of that whole s silly, stupid, he wouldn't promote her makeup or whatever or something stupid. It was, it was so stupid, but the whole cancel culture about drove him to suicide, which is ridiculous. And so that's actually one of the things right now is, like, what's your opinion of cancel culture? I literally, I, there's, I'm not necessarily affected by it. If I'm not necessarily affected by it, I can care what go, I can care less what's going on. Even when you drive into like Lincoln, it's still technically life as usual. What I would need to do to technically get a real side of this, is to what's that, is to go to like Seattle where they got the depoliticized zone, like no police. They had that 
cops have to literally ask to go in to go get somebody who got shot or somebody who got hit. Like they have to think, no, that, that's not how things work around here. I forgot about that. They, uh, the rioters took over a section of Seattle. I forgot about that. And then apparently I heard that somebody actually got shot in there or something, and the police literally walked up and said, can we go in there and go get this person? Because they're not allowed in there. And it's like, no, 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 that's not how this works. You go around and you go barge through that wall, and you say, listen up, this is... You need to have law enforcement. You can't just say, well, well this is a non-police attire zone. We can do whatever we want here. That's not how it works. So, That's where I take sides with the, everyone else. So, what do you, so do you, so you're going to, I mean, most people try to completely avoid controversies. So is that your goal? Is just trying to avoid controversies? Until, until acted upon. And I'm going to try and make it the best scenario I can. Right. If it's something where it's going to involve getting nasty, I'll try um, to leanly back out of it. But if it's something that they're going after it, I most likely will probably throw down as well. Now, whether that be involving fists, I hope you got a dozen, because I'm not going to be the one going to jail. Nope. Um, I'll let them be the ones that's going to it. But if, if it comes down to it, I will take action on it. But... If I can, I'm going to try and stay neutral because again, it doesn't really affect. If they, if they, if someone wants to go and call me all these names, where it was, okay, I did nothing to you. It's like. Well, I but I mean, a lot of those YouTubers, it's something that they say, and then it irritates people, or it's like something happens, but the YouTuber doesn't say something, or what they say is not, what a lot of people say is correct. And then they start catching a lot of flack for it, especially on Twitter and everywhere. And what I like to do with that is I go, that's nice, because I feel that way. Either delete it, leave it, or if anything, just ignore it. Now, easier said than done. But right. If they have that big of a problem, no one told you to click on the video. If you got such a damn problem with it, just got to watch it. That's, I love to go. Sometimes I just love to sit down, grab the popcorn, and watch the people press the dislike button. Because uh, you can't have success without hate. And the best part is that when it's just like the, there's only like one or two, you have like 50 to a 400 or something likes on the video, and there's just two dislikes. But yeah, the only reason you're there is because you just want to be the guy sticking out. That's the only real reason that they're pressing. So, I find it more as that when someone's hating on you, it's because of the it's like, well, that's not me, so I just want to make it look like I can do something to get attention. Right, and like uh, somebody's like, you had Coco Melon who got two dislikes. What does that mean? I'm like, I'm laughing. It's great. That's what I wanted. I, love, I did one video on a game that I got a week before everyone else, and I'm a nobody. Like this was only special acts of people that have been playing the game for like five years. One of our head guys who's, um, okay, you heard of SnowRunner yet? Yeah, yeah, we talked about this last time. Yeah, that's what I was doing. I got the game like a week and a half before like, the launch thing. I couldn't make a video on it because I had an embargo on it. And I got 36 dislikes on the video just because I played it the way I played it to get it going. I have no idea how to play SnowRunner. I've never played the game before. But, hey, it's a new game. I got access to it. I'm going to make a quick video on it. I'll show you where something is. But the way I play, people didn't like it. Oh, like, uh, skip to this guy. Good God, this guy can talk for hours. I'm like, that's my style of video. You don't like it? Go check out Tomcat, the other guy who actually makes videos on this stuff. I'm just here to show you guys what I know. Don't like it? Don't watch it. That's simple. Right, yeah. And so, that's, I, ha I guess I'm going to probably have to have the same mentality. Like, the podcast, so much stuff gets said on there. And like one of these days, if something's gonna slip or something's gonna get by, that's what's gonna get me. But it's like, you know, it's the podcast. I mean, I don't expect you to listen. I mean, I wish you did, but if you did make it all the way through, you don't have to listen to Phil and I ramble on. We're just two random white dudes on the internet. There's not many other white dudes you can go listen to talk. You know? Sorry that this video popped up in your feed. It just does well. It's my, sorry my success makes you, you know, feel toxic inside. You know? One thing that I never got is how I, I would hate to be the representative at YouTube that lets things pass and let some of them don't. Like, I was watching a video on that, like, what just their filter stuff goes through in a day. They were saying that there are some things where 
Uh, it could be the exact same content of something from like World War II that's showing like a, a Nazi concentration camp and what they're doing. There were two people that posted it. One of them got it taken down and the other one let it stay. And I think it was actually still able to be monetized. One of which was a, a history channel that had one of them. It was some sort of history channel that had the one up that was able to stay. Then there was another guy that posted it up, but it got taken down because in the bottom right hand corner, there was some group, it would have been affiliated with a, like a racist group. Mm. So they had to take it down, even though one of them technically would have been informative. Like it, it sounded like an informative video, but the group that posted it is why it was taken down. Because mm. they had it in the other term. It was literally the exact same content, but it's because of the fact that one of them came from some racist group, they had to take it down. Well, that yeah. makes sense. I could see that. Whether the video is accurate or not, YouTube has to be careful with the racist things. They try to get rid of. They try to keep that down. This is a four chan where you can say what you want, or eight chan for that matter. The one thing that really confuses me, and also into that, is the whole when they crack down the Copa. Like I, you can't tell. I can't tell you how many times people that were in the gaming community got terrified that their channel to be taken down because of the fact that they were saying like you can't have this in there, this, this, this. Literally all of it was the same caliber of what was in a gaming video. And then they came out like a week later saying, yeah, this won't affect anybody in the gaming community unless you're doing something stupid. But, like, there's one guy that I used to watch all the time, and I can't tell you the amount of dope that's in some of those videos now. It's just sad. And, and a lot of the time, it's it. He, he watches the same videos like six times, and he does videos on them, and he, he pretty much just stages everything on his channel still hasn't got, he's gotten like four or five strikes from YouTube before, like he's been taken down before, but he still keeps going, like people like to watch it, but it's like why, he literally fakes everything he does, and then the amount, again, the second grade amount of guilt, it's like come on, you're still letting these guys do this stuff, it drives me nuts, like they're the ones that should be getting cracked down on, yeah, it's just dumb. So, well, you know, um, that that brings up because YouTube. So when Belle Delphine's video dropped, uh, it's basically softcore porn, and YouTube didn't even touch it. It's demonetized, but it's not even. It it, it, it it's it's still completely available. Anybody can go watch it unless you're not eighteen. But like you know, a lot of people were like complaining because if somebody says the f bomb on one of their videos, it gets flagged. Yeah, here's Belle Delphine posting softcore porn, and it's not flagged at all. And people are all angry about that. There was a lot of memes about that. But, uh... That's, that, okay, that's the other thing I never got. How, can, how on earth can somebody, like, say, like, swimwear, swimsuit, that's the one that drives me nuts. If you go down and they show, like, a brochure of, say, uh, what is it? Santa Monica Beach in California. Is that the name of the beach? Maybe, sure. I'm trying to think. I, where was it? Santa Monica Pier or something. If they go down there and they get they get like a picture of about forty people laying on the beach line in like all these bikini beach wear swim swimsuit, what's the difference between that and somebody wearing something from Victoria's Secret? Literally, hate to say it, swimsuits are technically showing more skin. Yet, how on earth does that classify that one or the other is wrong? It's like they're literally doing the exact same job, just one of them more decadent when you really think about it. Well, to be fair. You can also, when it comes to uh, lingerie, actually see the tits. So that kind of stuff would not be acceptable. And swimsuits, you are not allowed to show tits, so that has to be covered up. The nipple. The nipple specifically. Well, no, duh. I know that. <laughs> well, but that's... In, the... real, but in reality, if you look at a majority, they're all, everything's doing technically the same job. So when somebody's like... Ah, uh, don't look at me. I, or especially like if a guy walked out there in boxers, like he'd get arrested for it. Right. And if you walked out there in swim trunks, oh, you're fine. I and guess it's a, about the same thing. I guess it's about the the, the, the context because you know yeah. lingerie is meant for sex, as where uh, swimsuits no, aren't. Talking about freaking fruit of the loom, Hanes, bo just boxers versus swim trunks. If you saw a guy. Walking down the streets of California to get boxing, he'd be arrested because that's technically the public duty. But if he's walking down the street, walking down the street with a pair of shark swim trunks on, they don't get any. That's the, that's some of the stuff in America. It's like, can you just make up your minds? <laughs> but you can't, you can't swim in boxers, though. <laughs> it, it, 
gun. I mean, you can. It'd be a rough time, but you can't. Yeah. You should. Right. I just find that that's the stuff that I just. You just you can make so many arguments on it. But anyways, back to this Belle Delphine video. Like two people, one guy actually like had the actual audio from the video playing. As for some other guy couldn't because the other guy said he was getting uh, copyright claimed. That's the other guy wasn't getting copyright claimed. And when I uploaded it myself through my Coco Melon video or through the podcast, I didn't get copyright claimed at all. I got copyright claimed from Coco Melon, but I didn't get copyright claimed by uh, Six Nine because she technically just literally used the Six Nine uh, audio, but just took out you know the, the rapping and put her own lyrics in there. Otherwise, she didn't change anything. Yet one guy was getting copyright claim, and another guy wasn't. Which was baffling to me. How can one guy get claimed and one guy doesn't, but they're showing the exact same content? Yep. And then there's me, literally re-uploads it, the actual video she uploaded, and I didn't get anything. That guy it, 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 that's why people get, they're just baffled. I think the funniest thing is, there's literally swearing in that Coco Melon video. And I left it in. I didn't leave it. And it's, I, I tagged it as for kids. And it's still tagged for kids. YouTube hasn't come and like, hey, uh, no, 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 you can't keep that as for kids. There's literally Belle Delphine twerking in the video in basically nothing. And, Nothing. Now, granted, there's like no views on it, but like, but still, it could have gotten plugged. Up. It could have easily ended up on YouTube for kids, and so some parent clicks on it, which was the whole idea of the video. Clicks on it, plays it through, and all of a sudden, you were thinking I died. Beep surprise! I got the double thick thighs. Like, oh, and you got the whole being doing softcore porn. I, that was the whole point of the video, but like seriously, YouTube did, their detection system didn't pick up on it. And so now some kid somewhere could watch this. <laughs> and be, they can't comment. Huh? Yeah. At least it's not commenting. I mean, they can just leave dislikes, which is fine, but it's just like, <laughs> YouTube. There are so many loopholes when you really think about it. I'm just like, how did YouTube how is this possible? I'm telling you. Now, it could be because, but you're not, I'm not, even if I was monetized, that might change it. But like, I'm just baffled by it. Well, if you're monetized, I'll tell you that much. When it comes to that, they actually have a section called ad suitability. And it gives you like, is this drug related content? Is this blah? If you put none of the above, then you can... There's like that's a very bottom there's a bottom checkbox. I don't know if you'd have clicked that if it would have picked up on it, but um, depending on what it is, but you have to like check certain boxes. Like I was doing the one uh FNAF one and I put on there might be light use of swearing because when the headphone comes off my head and I'm gonna be just screaming and it's like screaming at this terror, <laughs> who knows what's gonna come out of my mouth. Like I'll try and watch my mouth, but if there's someone that's running down the hallway coming after me there's going to be some weird words coming out of my mouth. But those are certain things like you have to prep for them in case that that's there. But like when I did my first World of Tanks bid and I did the whole whatever it was, I was trying to decipher, do I put, does this have gun violence in it? Like it doesn't show gory content, but it's still, I'm firing a gun at another thing and technically trying to kill it. Is that bad? And I just put it's it a, It's a gaming video. It's... That's what I'm saying. I was just confused on, like, does this, because it was reading it, and it sounded like I would have had to have checked that. But I didn't, and then I got away with it, so apparently it was fine. But I was like, still, I'm just kind of confused on it, because I'm like, well, does this qualify as, like, Rainbow Six Siege? You'd have to do something, like, this is boring content, because you could blow someone's head off of that. Yeah, or, like, uh, just some of the zombie games are really bad, really notorious for it. I don't know. It's an interesting time. YouTube's an interesting place. We're an interesting place. Anyways, um, thanks for coming on again. This is great. Hopefully next time Phil can stay longer. Oh yeah. I'm probably going to go get something to eat. You know, 
and I got I got this thing a ranch, and I think I have an entire like because uh, I, I told you I was eating carrots. Yeah. But I have like an entire deli dish in the fridge, so I think I'm gonna go grab that and start munching on it, like the celery and all that stuff. And keep working on your boats. Yes, I need to keep working on boats because those things probably should have been done, like. <laughs> four hours ago, but I'm still trying to do stuff to them. Yeah, and I'm going to spend the next two hours working on this, editing oh. and rendering this. Amazing. Oh, and by the way, yeah, I'm, I'm very depressed that whenever I drive by technically your place on my way to work, I honk the horn when I see a truck outside, and you never, and you never wait. Like you're, I can partially like make out a figure that's standing outside, and I swear it's you. I'm like hot going down the road before. I never get away. Wait, 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 hold on. My truck's white. I know. That's what I'm saying. I'm oh, your truck really? I've never place before. Then I parked on my way by and I never got, like, I never saw, like, a partial wave back. And I was like, man. I never, I just, maybe I never heard the honk. But I did not. It was a giant ahuga horn. Like, ahuga. It's, like, so distinct. <laughs> But I guess I'll have to pay attention next time. Right now. What? I don't even have my car right now. What, right. What's my boy JC's username? Oh, um, the, ah, oh, what was his username? Straight Rat? What? Straight Rat? JC, are we talking? Like, M Soresco JC. Yeah, Straight Rat. Straight, that, whatever it was. It's at his dad's shop right now. Ah, yeah, yeah, so straight rat. Yeah, I was, I, was, I was getting some stuff done to it. It's, it. It hasn't been running right. It's, it's beyond our repair, technically. Like, it, we could f figure out probably what's wrong with it, but to replace those said parts, you need to have it in the shop. My check engine light came on, and I'm just like... My uncle's like, take it to a rise and get it tested, and come to me and we'll fix it. And I was just like... Well, it turns off when you drive in the rain, so I'm not really too concerned about it. <laughs> we uh, we replaced some sensor on my on my engine, just trying to do some like timing camshaft sensor. We undid the bolt that held it in, and then we tried to pull the thing out. Not even joking, you. You could have stuck your hand in, looked like this, and when you pulled it back out, still not even having it, you probably had a quarter inch thick of grease and oil on there. Like, that's how dirty my engine block is. Oh, my God. You probably just could clean off the engine, like, make it look like new, and it would probably run like a brand new car. <laughs> there's probably nothing wrong with this besides the fact that there's, like, some gasket that's just completely shot. Well, oh, replacing your head gasket's a pain, but... Oh, yeah, it's all the headers and all that. It's been expensive. Well, anyways, yeah. um... Well, you want to go eat, and I got to run into this, and uh, been great. Uh, I'd like to thank you all for watching. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe to podcast every Friday, 2 p.m. such time. Make sure you go check out Buck, even though I'm sure you're all here from Buck. So, and good night.